This is my weekend Mexican coffee because as most of you know, I'm a huge Formula One fan. My whole family is. So this is a brunchy kind of treat in the morning while I'm watching the race. Place your burner on a medium heat and you're gonna add two cups of milk and one cinnamon stick. You're gonna allow this to come to a boil, so don't leave the area. Once your pot comes to a boil, you're gonna place your burner on a low heat. You're gonna add half a cup of sugar, half a tablespoon of imitation rum flavor, one teaspoon of vanilla, a dash of ground nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. Give your beautiful ingredients a loving mix and continue to cook for another minute. You just wanna make sure that your sugar has dissolved nicely into our milk. Once your ingredients are fully combined, you're gonna go ahead and strain them. You can use a bowl or a pot, and I put a little bit of ice in there, just to cool it slightly. We don't want it to freeze, just a little cool. You're gonna need a total of three egg yolks. Once you separate your egg yolks, you're gonna start mixing them for a good 30 seconds. Do it quickly. This is gonna warm up our egg yolks just a little bit. If you were to pour all of our warm milk into your egg yolks, you're gonna create something really gross. So you're just gonna add a few drops and you're gonna keep mixing. And I'm gonna start with half a cup. And this is just bringing our egg yolks to the same temperature. Woohoo! we did it. See, it's smooth with no lumps. So just take your time. It's better to take it slowly when you're adding your milk than to just rush through it. Place your burner on a medium heat and bring your pot up to a boil. Once your pot comes to a boil, you're gonna lower your temperature to a medium low heat and you're gonna continue to stir for the next five minutes. Go ahead and turn your burner off. Our rompope is ready. This is about the thickness that you're looking for. And you can just transfer your rompope into a glass container. You're gonna allow this to cool before you transfer it to the refrigerator and it will last you max two and a half to three days. I showed you guys last month how to make my Café de Olla Express and I'll link that in the description area and that's the coffee blend that I'm using today. And boom, done. Who's ready for a taste? Because I have some for everybody. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need somebody very special to say uh. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And let us know in the comments how you like to have your coffee on the weekends. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Thank you, sister. You're welcome. Friends, if you need something comforting in a cup, this is gonna be a winner. Especially if you have elders, Mexican elders, if you make this for them, it's just gonna make them feel like they were young. And they're gonna help you sweep the kitchen. <laughs> Ooh, I'm definitely helping you sweep the kitchen. This is so good. Ooh, look away, cause I'm gonna get hyper in a second. <laughs> this is cafecito time with your comadre or your compadres. This is perfect. Yeah, for those of you that play Loteria or you have a celebration, if you make this combination for your family, they're gonna ask you how you made it and you're gonna shine. You're gonna be a superstar. <laughs> well, you already are, but you know what I mean. This is so good, girl. This is my weekend Mexican coffee because as most of you know, I'm a huge Formula One fan. My whole family is. So this is a brunchy kind of treat in the morning while I'm watching the race because I get up extra early and it just hits the spot, you know? Or you can have it iced. How would you have it on ice, Cloud? Just let this cool down and then just add pour it to my ice. Exactly. That's how easy it's going to be for you to make this on ice. Mm. Ya te picaste, te picaste. Me estoy quemando la lengua. Whoa. Salud. Cheers. Like if it doesn't make enough noise, I'm like, ah. I'm a walking sound effect. <laughs>